Welcome everyone. I'm Frederick. This here is AJ. This is a golfer's walk. Today, AJ and I are going to play Hershey East in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Really great golf track. Uh, they've held a lot of web.com events here. A little over 7100, par 7176, I think is the uh, course rating, with like a 133 slope. So, anyways, we're going to get started here. I think you'll enjoy this. AJ's a pretty good player plus something. So hopefully I won't get beat too bad today. <laughs> we won't. Number one is a 500 yard par five dog leg to the right. You have to take it over the water if you want to try and get home in two. Par five, second shot here. Play smart. There we go. Smart shot. Get a wedge in your hand. Yes, you did hear correctly. It caught the tree limbs on the right, but managed to kick back out in the fairway, so I had a clear shot into the green. Pretty good. A couple good wedge shots in here. Tough green, a lot of slope, but it's his par five. Number two is a great par three. Almost 200 yards, 193 here on the card. The pin uh, typically is tucked behind the bunker, requiring a bit more of a right to left shot. Be right. Ooh. AJ hit a real good shot oh, there, came up just a bit short. This was pretty much the beginnings of my struggles with playing, I guess, what's referred to as army golf, left, right, left, right. I hooked that one way to the left into the trees. As you can see here, I have to go quite a ways off to the left. I'm actually, well, just into the tree line there. See the ball now just land. It really was a tremendous shot. It was probably almost 30 yards left of the hole. This was the beginning of really some very good putting by AJ. Clearly is an excellent putter being a plus six. That putt he made there was nearly 40 feet. Tremendous putt there to get that somehow up and down. Number three is a monster of a par four, 448. It's all uphill. With all this rain, the ball doesn't go. roll at all. How far we got? got 199 up the hill. Out of the rough. So. Gotta hit the height.
tough little four lie there. Four iron is just too, too far. Not strong enough to get through that rough. Take it at the pin and then turn it. Hopefully leave it just short left. Works. All right, look at this. Want to show them this? Yeah, you don't have to worry about that this year because now the embedded ball, guys, is automatically relieved. So, so he's got 173 left, which means he hit it basically 280 in the air, into the wind, up the hill. Good swing. Cutting it right at the pin again. Be right. My old eyes can't tell. Too gray. Look good though. Some long cuts here up the hill, but tough hole. 450 uphill. You can see it was into the wind, quartering into us. So we'll do well to two putt here. Up, I like to hit a lot of uh, my two iron. Oh, yeah, probably my favorite club to hit. That thing goes cool. You hit like full yeah. or do you hit like stingers? I hit full shots. It's it kind of doesn't go too high, but it's like right in the middle, right right at where a two, two iron should be. Yeah, you ever About see uh, 280 down the middle on Instagram? You see uh, Zach Radford. Zach Radford. The real Zach Radford. He is the king of sting. The king of sting. The king of sting. I think I might have. I've never. He just posted one today. He was hitting a four iron on the range on a track man hitting a stinger. Oh, Club shit. speed was 110. Jeez. That guy is definitely the king of sting. <laughs> so as you can see, we had to start putting the rain gear on. By the time we got to the tee box, it was pouring down rain. Uh, AJ hit a great tee shot right down the middle. I hit it in the right trees, had to punch out, knocked it on. Uh, he knocked it in the front bunker and then knocked it out and just missed his putt. So we're going to move on to the fifth hole. The fifth hole, fairly short hole for out here, straight away, uphill, really about getting in good position so you can have a good shot into the green. This was another one with the pin way back, so this hole was playing closer to 400. So I had about 130 left up the hill. Tried to hit a little bit of a knockdown eight, trying to keep the ball under the tree limb in front of us. Cut a little. Very nice shot. Very good putt. Yeah, it looks like it's going to turn hard, but yeah, not to push it. I'm trying to play it. Number six is a long par five, 554 yards. 
with as wet as it is, it was impossible to reach in two today. But it did start to rain, so some of the shots were missed. See? Beautiful shot. Boy, that has hit hard. Perfect. So I hit my drive well off to the right in the trees again. And it did start to rain pretty hard. I hit a really good punch, uh, actually a little stinger underneath the uh, tree limbs to get down to here. So I had a pretty clear third shot. And as you can see, I managed to pull this quite a bit. I think I caught just barely on the left edge of the green. Great recovery shot, it's got 66 left here to the hole. A little bit out to the left, the yardage is about right. Short over there, just to the left. He's got about 12, 15 feet. Not sure if you could see it, but back there on the par three, I did something to my knee. So, so AJ, what do you do when you get a mud ball? What do you? How do you approach it? Hit it. Hit. 